What's up everybody? Welcome back to the 710 Performance Vlog. I'm TL and I hope you all are having an amazing day. Today is going to be another quick vlog in the series of educating you and giving you some advice or some tips on how to start your own powder coating business from home or even from a small shop. Now we do have a series and if I remember I'll go ahead and link to the playlist series right up here so you can go ahead and click on it. This is going to be the third video in the series. The series has kind of taken off and people have really got some good information from it and I just really want to focus on being able to give you guys great information. Now before we get into the video Video. I do have a couple of things I would like to get your response on so if you can leave some comments down below and let me know and give me some guidance on where you would like to see the channel going it would be greatly appreciated now in starting this channel it was the whole idea was to start a channel and document our path from starting a powder coating business and moving it on up and expanding into other things the idea was not just to stick with powder coating also we wanted to bring other content to the channel because running multiple YouTube channels unless you're very big and you can pay editors is extremely hard so along with powder coating you obviously see that we have other videos of myself racing and other car build videos such as the Honda G23 build putting some parts on the Subaru WRX this is what I'm looking at now I know you guys like the powder coating videos and instructional videos are always great and instead of putting out two three maybe four powder coating videos a week and a business video such as this one I want to kind of mix it up and I want to know do you guys want more business content or do you want more powder coating content because I was thinking that if we did a business vlog once a week we did one or two powder coating videos a week and at least right now for the next few months I'm gonna have at least one if not two races per week and we're going to be doing upgrades on the car so there's gonna be like some race videos and an upgrade video once or twice a week as well now I understand that a lot of you are here for the powder coating content and I want to make sure that I give that to you guys the best would you rather have two like two powder coating videos and a business video or would you rather have two business videos and a powder coating video we don't want to change the page just to a racing page but it's really about documenting what we're doing we didn't want to come out as the number one powder coating YouTube channel we were not trying to do that being a powder coating channel we've really got some traction for the channel itself but we also want to document the rest of that we're doing so we want to know it you know it's one or two videos of the car builds a week is that too much so let us know down below give us your thoughts today there's a couple of things that we're going to be talking about when it's when growing your powder coating business one of the first things is is when you start getting jobs as we spoke about in the last one and you're pushing it on Facebook posting ads on Craigslist such like that posting on Facebook marketplace a lot of people have been messed over or something like that from people who are powder coating from home now this isn't to say that you're gonna mess somebody's parts up but what people are looking for is not only a good deal but they're looking to know that somebody stands behind their product so one of the things that I really suggest that you do is that you pay the small fee and you get a website for your powder coating business the reason that I suggest this is that one it's a good way to continue to get your name out there you can have a gallery where you post all all of the pictures or photos or images or videos that you've taken of the work that you've done so it's a way to be able to show your work and kind of give some social proof there it doesn't have to be a huge website it doesn't have to be complicated you don't have to actually even sell anything on your website if you have a home page a gallery and a contact page that is a great way to start one thing it's going to start building the SEO which is search engine optimization for your business if you are a registered business and you actually Actually go through Google and you register your business to your house you will start coming up in people's uh, not in their feed necessarily but when they search powder coating company near me you can actually if you're near them you would start popping up automatically just by having your business listing there and it's free to do it with Google so getting a business listing on Google and kind of getting some sort of website out there and Facebook is not a website Instagram is not a website those are social media tools that you use to direct people who are interested in your product or service to your website. If you have an Instagram, even if you get jobs from your Instagram, 
it's not functioning the same as a website. If you have a Facebook page, although now it functions a lot better where you can message, people can message you right through your Facebook page, you can actually book a job and it puts it in a calendar, but it's still not a website. It's a tool for you to be able to use to connect with customers and to put your content out there where other customers or people who just like your content might be able to see it. Speaking of that, we're doing live videos on our 710 Performance Facebook page of powder coating. So if you're following us here on YouTube and you like this content, we are going to be doing more live videos since we can't go live on YouTube right now. We actually do live videos with Q and A's on our Facebook page when we're actually powder coating parts. I'll leave a link to our Facebook page down below. Go there, like it if you have a Facebook account and you wanna see more of our content, but just at, at different angles, at different times, it's definitely different content that we're putting up than YouTube. So it's a different kind of content. It's something that you may want to go ahead and check out. When we do reach our thousand subscribers, which we're very close, and I thank you all for your support. When we do reach our thousand subscribers, you'll find out that we are going to go live on here on YouTube quite often as well. So it's very important important that you have some sort of website, some sort of Google business listing. I don't believe you can get a Google business listing without a website, although I could be wrong, but it's something you definitely want to check into. Think about that. And also when you're posting on your social media, don't post just about work. Post about, I guess, don't try to make every post a sale. Post what you like, post content that gets your community of people interacting with it. So post what they're gonna like, post stuff that will help them when thinking about that. So website, very important to go ahead and get a website. That way you have some sort of proof on the internet. Also on your website, I do suggest putting some sort of warranty. When you have a warranty on your work, people see that you stand behind your work and they're more than likely, more likely to do business with you. We offer a five year warranty. Some people say that's too much, but I also looked at similar powder coating companies or other powder coating companies in the state and they're offering a five year warranty. Well, if I stand behind my work as much as they do and I believe in my abilities as much as they do, why not give that same type of warranty? So that's just, again, something to think about. It's important and when you're finding people, they want to see that you stand behind your product. People start to wonder maybe how legit your business is or they start to wonder how good your service is if you don't have a website. If you don't even have a Facebook page or some place to steer them to, then people start wondering, okay, well, why don't you have a presence out there? So that's something to think about as well. The website, very important. And it also goes along with what else I'm talking about today too, and that's social media. I've mentioned it just a couple of times here, and I've mentioned it in the previous videos. Having a Facebook page is very important. Having an Instagram account, extremely important. Also, TikTok is growing and TikTok is becoming important too. One of the things that I've noticed from TikTok, and it doesn't mean that I'm wrong, but what I see on TikTok is I see the future of your business. So it's going to be for the younger generation, people who can't yet drive or are getting ready to start driving or are just starting to drive. It's that age range. So if you start building a reputation with them now, five years down the road, when they are driving, when they are building their cars, when they are doing other things that will require powder coating services, you've had years to build a reputation with them and build communication with them. So TikTok, while it's important, it's not something that you're necessarily going to see anything from right away. It's something that you're doing for the future. Facebook and Instagram, both of those are extremely important. I know many small powder coating companies, we ourselves, as well as some larger ones, get a lot of business just from Instagram. It's a great way to be able to show your work. It's a great way to be able to reach people, especially when you've built a community around it. Now, people worry and wonder about followers and such like that. Man, that's, that's not important. What's important is putting it together and putting content out there consistently. If you're not using social media, you're really not helping, I, I guess, the back end side of your company. You need to have social proof out there. You need to build a a network and a community of people that you can talk to, that you show them your skills, you show them their knowledge, and you give back to them. It's all about giving back to them. It's not about, I'm gonna have an Instagram so I can just try and get business off of it and every post is about buy from me or buy this or this or sale, sale, sale. People don't like to see that constantly in their feed. Some 
sometimes social media can be very daunting, especially when you're starting a business. In this day and age, it is imperative that you have social media and it's imperative that you use it to your best, the best of your ability. As you continue to use it to the best of your ability, you will get better and better at it. The big key with social media is being consistent. Just like YouTube, for people who are starting YouTube channels to grow them and to use them as a business to be able to make money, consistency is key. You can grow a YouTube channel if you're posting once a week, but it's going to have to be consistently. Same day, same time, consistent for a while. And especially if you've got good content, then you will grow quickly. But you can't grow a YouTube channel if you're posting once a month sporadically. Once, one month, not the next month. Once, one, the next month, but on a different day. You're very sporadic. It's the same thing with Facebook or Instagram. Your Facebook or your Instagram is not going to grow if you're not being consistent with it. Your powder coating skills are not going to get better if you're not being consistent with it. Consistency with anything is key and it's the same thing with social media. Yes, it's going to get frustrating at first. You probably want to pull your hair out. I know there's still times I want to pull my hair out. I've been on Twitter for years. For years. I don't even know how to use Twitter. I, don't, I still don't know how to use it. I pull my hair out every other week trying to figure it out. But there's ways to do it. You have to interact with people. Okay, you, it, it's not just about you, it's about what you can do for them. So think about those things. Social media and a website for your business, they're very important and it's going to be a big key and a big factor in growing your business, whether you want to keep it small and have consistent jobs that you choose from or whether you want to grow your business big. It's very important that you use these tools to the best of your ability. When it comes down to actually marketing your business, paying for ads on Facebook, paying for ads on Instagram is actually a lot more effective than paying for billboard ads or paying for radio ads when you do it correctly. So that's why you want to build a following because in the future, when you do or if you do want to grow your business and really take it to the next level, running ads on these social media platforms are going to be huge for you. It's going to be huge. But I don't want to go too far ahead. I really want to keep you guys focused on the tasks at hand and getting each of these steps done. The biggest things are getting your skills down, getting the belief in yourself down, and putting that content out there. We grew from absolutely nothing, from a dual voltage Eastwood gun. If we can do it, you can do it. And we're here to help. We want to help you. I'm actually enjoying making these videos where we're giving you business advice. To me, I feel I'm giving more value to you through these videos than just a video of us powder coating and what we're doing for the day. You know, when, when some of those videos get informative on a how-to, then I feel, you know, great being able to bring you guys value, but I really Really like doing these business videos so remember keep the questions coming keep the comments down below coming because we will reply to them if there's a lot of comments on the same subject I'll go ahead and make a video about it I have experience in running businesses and so I've, I've probably failed 40 businesses in my life I've had semi successes on two or three of them I've had really good successes on one or two and I'm getting successful and having a lot of success with the powder coating business as well so so it's not just powder coating. I have a lot of information that can help you grow your business in different ways and just to help you run your business. I'm not perfect, but believe me, I've got a lot of experience. I've learned stuff the hard way a lot of times and I'm willing to share whatever information I can with you. So you guys let me know down below. Do you want more business videos? How do you want it? The, the racing videos and the, the, the driving content and the car build videos. More of that is coming. It's going to be at least once, maybe twice a week. I hope you guys enjoy that as well. It's a lot of fun for me, and it's something that I feel will be interesting as well out there to the YouTube family. Thank you all very much for checking out this video. Remember, if I gave you any value, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, comment down below. If you're interested in winning that Eastwood Hot Coat PCS 1000, or if you just like our channel, smash the subscribe button. Make sure you turn on all post notifications. That way you do get alerted when we go live and upload new content. You'll also be alerted when we do the live giveaway. So make sure you go ahead and do that if you're interested in the giveaway. And again, to enter, you have to comment down below and like the video as well. Please share this video with anybody who you think will find value in it. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.